Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Thursday evening, January 25, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what that has been like in your year recently. Also, feel free to ask any other related question that you might have about the future of the in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can still see that the entire Atlantic Basin is being dominated by that ridge of high pressure. It is now situated directly up over Bermuda, so I guess you could say that it's now Bermuda high pressure and it's responsible for sending all of those easterly trade winds across the main development region into the Caribbean. You can also see that that cold front that we had that stretched all the way from northern section of North Atlantic all the way down into portion of the Caribbean has now transformed into a trough and we can see the trough represented by those broken orange lines and this trough stretches all the way from the northern section of North Atlantic all the way into portion of the eastern Caribbean, the central Caribbean and all the way into portion of Jamaica. It was this trough that was responsible for the clouds and isolated shore activity across sections of the island today and considering that it's such a long weather system <laughs> it's definitely going to be plaguing the island with some more clouds and rainfall on Friday and we can actually see these clouds associated with that trough across the waters of the eastern Caribbean stretching all the way into portions of the central and western Caribbean including sections of Jamaica and we're still going to be informed more of that activity tomorrow. You can also see those low level patches of clouds pushing all of those clouds along. Not the low level patches of clouds, we, we can also see the winds pushing all of those low level patches of clouds across the main development region into the Caribbean, all courtesy of that easterly flow brought about by that ridge of high pressure. We can also see that we have some very deep convection, some thunderstorm activity taking shape across sections of the southern United States. You can see that deep convection even better right here on the rainbow satellite image. Lots of thunderstorm activity, heavy weather taking place across sections of New Orleans, sections of Louisiana, and it's definitely going to be pushing its way eastward into portions of the southeastern United States. We'll be talking more about the Caribbean weather later on. Let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today. So yesterday's video stated that we would have received some rainfall across eastern Jamaica in the morning. Then some of these clouds would have made it into sections of central and western parishes during the afternoon. And we indeed saw that happening. But for information, you know, when we're talking about eastern parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Surrey. So Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew, central parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Middlesex. So St. Anne, St. Mary, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine. While western parishes, you know, we're talking about St. Elizabeth, West Mala, Hanover, St. James, and Trelawney. Basically, those parishes in the county of Cornwall. And what ended up happening? As early as 8 to 1 a.m., a post was made on our Twitter page. Keep in mind that these posts aren't only made on our Twitter page, but our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok page. So if you have one of those social media platforms, please ensure that you follow us there. At Twitter, we're at Weather Jamaica. On Twitter, we're at Weather Jamaica. Instagram, we're at Weather.Jamaica. TikTok, Weather Jamaica. And Facebook, Weather Jamaica 876. And you know our YouTube already, at Weather Jamaica. So we can actually see that at 8.01 a.m., the forecast was confirmed. We indeed had some amount of clouds bringing over Cascades and isolated shores to sections of St. Thomas and Portland. And we indeed had a commenter confirming the rainfall, Ali de Cordova, stating just start rain in Morant Bay. I know that's the parish capital for St. Thomas. So we definitely had some amount of rainfall across eastern Jamaica this morning. Then we saw that by 2.25 p.m., Another post was made highlighting the visible satellite images showing clouds pushing from east to west across the island. So indeed, if not had some amount of overcast skies brought about by these clouds, some of these clouds might have, you know, let off a few droplets of water here and there. We saw that these clouds push from east to west all across the island. 
if we actually take a look at the latest visible satellite images before the sun went down we can see that even before the sun went down we still had a lot of clouds especially across sections of some western parishes still had some clouds coming into sections of the east maybe sections of portland but we started to see that most of the weather conditions were starting to lighten up and if we take a look at the latest infrared satellite images it also reveals that we even had a burst of convection right there on the west coast of the island you can see those sparkling white dots that we already know represents one amount of lightning flashes if not lightning strikes not to mention those high cold cloud tops associated with those cumulonimbus clouds being pushed off towards the northeast with that upper level winds <coughs> If we take a look at the temperatures right now, we can tell we have 27 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 29 degrees Celsius in Kingston. And that by about 3 a.m. on Friday, the temperature should dip down to about 24 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 22 degrees Celsius in Kingston. As it relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we can see that by the key on the right, the temperature is represented, or the average temperatures are represented by the grays, so zero, while the above normal temperatures that Jamaica should be embedded in for 18th day on Friday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Friday, Jamaica seen here representing or being embedded in yellows or oranges that represent 1 to 2 degrees Celsius above normal temperatures. I know the normal temperatures for the month of January across Jamaica are about 86.5 degrees Fahrenheit. When we take a look at the thermometer, 86.5 degrees Fahrenheit is about the same as 30 degrees Celsius. So it should be receiving anywhere from 30 to 32 degrees Celsius at most for Jamaica's temperature on Friday. As related to the dry air map, we can see the dry air being represented by this key at the bottom. The yellows, oranges, the reds, and whites within those reds, the more intense it gets, the more we go to the right. And even on the globe, the more intense it gets, the more we go to the right. And we can see those whites within those reds of the coast of Africa. And we know that all of that is associated with the Saron dust. But what we see over here across the Caribbean and surrounding Jamaica is just dry air. This is the actual Saron dust map. This is valid for Friday at 2 p.m. And we can see that Jamaica should be in the clear. Jamaica is right here below the word port. It stands for Port of Prince, the capital for Haiti. Well, all the dust represented by the bronze is across portions of the central and eastern main development region. What we don't like to see is those darker shades of bronze. That is the most vigorous plume of dust. And we hope that it doesn't make its way into the Jamaica era or the Caribbean for that matter. That's the type of dust that causes the hazy skies, as well as triggers some persons as more sinusitis. We don't need any of that right now at all. As well as the wave forecast, we can still see that for the most part surrounding the island, we have blues on the west coast and the north coast that represent 1.5 to 2 meter wave heights, while the purples are still offshore the south coast. Anywhere from 2 to maybe 3 meter wave heights is expected there. And that's because the winds are still going to be strong. The water is to the south of the island so we can see the yellows that represent 25 to 30 knot winds the greens that represent 15 to 20 knot winds for the most part across the island either way the winds are coming in from the east so if we're gonna be getting in on some amount of rainfall it should be coming in from off the sea and then as usual spilling into sections of central and western jamaica as relates to the rainfall forecast we can see that the rainfall actually begins at 12 p.m tomorrow we start to see those blues that represent rainfall across eastern Jamaica, so sections of St. Thomas, Portland, maybe even spilling into sections of St. Andrew. While when we skip ahead to about three hours later at three o'clock, we start to see these blues that represent rainfall across sections of some central and western parishes in Jamaica. So we see the consensus and we usually look for consensus when we're making these forecasts. We look for what both maps are showing. So definitely by midday eastern parishes, by mid-afternoon, sections of some central and western parishes getting in on some of the action as well. And we know central parishes, we're talking about those parishes in the county of Middlesex, St. Anne, St. Mary, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, as well as sections of western Jamaica, Cornwall being that county. So you know St. Elizabeth, Westmoreland, Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, lastly. And if we take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast by both the year and the GFS, it makes sense that both maps are showing that the most rainfall is going to be expected across eastern Jamaica, considering that most of the rainfall will be there within the next 24 hours. You are showing up to 0.51 of an inch of rainfall for the totals. 
GFS showing up to 0.11 across eastern Jamaica, showing more rainfall, however, across western Jamaica, up to 0.16 of an inch of rainfall. We're in the month of January. We'll take all the rainfall that we can get this month, considering that we're in the dry season. Before we head into the driest month of the year, which is February, we, don't, we really don't want February to get here because, you know, how drastic the dry season can get, little to no rainfall, causing brush fires, hillsides, bushfires, some property damage as well. We don't need that at all. But you're going to see the difference between this month and next month. The fire trucks are going to be very busy if they're not already. As it relates to the weather across the rest of the Caribbean, we can see those clouds associated with the trough coming into sections of the eastern Caribbean, definitely bringing some rainfall to section of the Leeward and Windward Islands. Not to mention sections of Central America getting in on the action, sections of Northeastern South America as well. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images of the Northeastern Caribbean right now, we don't see much happening. Maybe some isolated pockets of rainfall across eastern Puerto Rico where we have those greens. We can also see that we don't have much happening across the U.S. Virgin Islands, but maybe the British Virgin Islands getting in on some action. Anguilla, St. Martin in the clear, Antigua and Barbuda, St. St. Kitts and Nevis in the clear. But where we actually see the rainfalls when we take a look at the Barbados radar, the Windward Islands can be very wet actually. And we do see the blues and the greens that represent light and moderate rainfall affecting sections of Dominica. Martinique, sections of St. Lucia, right here, sections of St. Vincent and the Grenadines getting in on some of the action. Grenada, section of Tobago, not so much Trinidad at all, but Tobago definitely getting in on some of that rainfall with more to come. You can also see that Barbados is getting in on some of the action as well. Still some more rainfall coming in from the east northeast, especially to affect sections of the eastern portion of the island, spilling into the western side as the night progresses. As related to the wider view of Doppler radar images, we don't see much taking place right now across the Florida radar, the ABC Islands radar, or the Suriname radar, but definitely some sprinkles across section of the Guyana radar, section of Guatemala and Belize, as well as the Yucatan Peninsula. As related to the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we do still see the greys that represent normal temperatures across majority of the Eastern Caribbean, the blues that represent below normal temperatures across sections of the Northeastern Caribbean, so Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the US and British Virgin Islands, Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, definitely getting on some slightly below average temperatures associated with the leftover cold air mass brought about by that cold front, which is now transformed to a trough. While the Central Western Caribbean, not to mention section of the Eastern United States and Gulf of Mexico, should be getting on those above normal temperatures. Taking a look at the Saron dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Friday, majority of the Caribbean should be in the clear as all the Saron dust should be across the main development region waters. As it relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow, we still see those purposes that represent 2 to 3 meter wave heights and we can see them across the waters to the south of Jamaica to the north of Panama, Colombia, sections of the ABC Islands getting in on the action, the Eastern Caribbean definitely getting in on the action and that's because the winds are still coming in strong from the east for the most part with a mixture of greens and yellows averaging anywhere from 15 to 25 that's especially to the south of Jamaica, south of Hispaniola, north of Colombia right there we have those gold colors as it relates to the rainfall forecast now we can actually see the rainfall moving in a fashion from east to west on the next 24 hour map from both the year and GFS models. And the thing about these maps, we're always looking for a consensus. We're looking for where we're going to be seeing rainfall on both maps. So we know that we have more certainty in the forecast. And we do see that there's definitely some amount of rainfall in store for sections of the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, sections of the Eastern Caribbean, so anywhere from Guadeloupe southward, Dominica. Martinique, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, sections of the coastal areas of Suriname, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, especially eastern Honduras, sections of Belize getting in on the action as well. And we know that when both maps from the year and the GFS are in consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.